Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Art Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. Down below in the bottom of the screen, there is a scroll that is for Tenkar's Dash Tavern Games slash ElfQuest. ElfQuest is up on uh, Humble Bundle. Pretty complete collection. I have not. I used to collect uh, ElfQuest back in my, I guess, college days. It was fun. But yeah, you, you had to, you couldn't skip an, an, uh, an issue. You were lost. Uh, there are, I think, I don't know, 13 graphic novels in this. So I'll be picking that up. A lot of people are thinking about it, I'm sure. So what is today's topic? As my nose itches me. Ah, Spring allergies. Spring is arriving early here. My flowers are blooming in the front yard. Um, Piezo and artificial intelligence. This is from Wednesday. But we had live streams. Over the past few months, this is Piezo, the world has seen a huge upsurge in interest, use, and quality of algorithm-generated imagery and text. Algorithm generated AI artificial intelligence art, uh, whether it is oh god, uh, Mid Journey and others, whether it's for art, whether it's uh, chat, GBT, uh, or something like that for text for writing. I've read stories where people are <laughs> submitting. College work that was written by artificial intelligence. People that are setting cover letters that are written by artificial intelligence. So it's a big thing now. Since we launched the company in 2002, Paizo has made a reputation with the assistance of countless traditional artists and writers who are just as integral to the success of our games as our in house editors, art directors, designers, and developers. The ethical and legal issues surrounding AI art and writing prompt programs and the serious threat. We've all heard this, right? They pose to the livelihoods of partners who have helped us to get where we are today as a company. Demand we take a firm position against the use of technology, of this technology, in Paizo products. And I'm not saying that you can't do digital art. I don't know if they're not even saying that you can't use a chat program to uh, help you brainstorm. Or you can't use AI art to, I don't know, get you some pieces that you can work off of to get your final piece. What they are saying is that the artwork or the writing that you are presented as a customer should be made by people. Now, there's going to be a huge argument as to how much of the AI art, like you just can't, AI art prompt programs, you just can't say, I want an elven warrior. You're not going to get what you're looking for. Your prompts have to be very concise, very detailed. Um, so, in the coming days, Paizo will add new language to its creative contracts that stipulate that all work submitted to us for publication be created by a human. We will further add guidance to our Pathfinder and Starfinder infinite program facts, clarifying that AI-generated content is not permitted on either community content marketplace. Now, that's important, too, right? So they're basically sending, not just if you're, quote, submitting directly to Paizo for our publication, if you're submitting work into the community content market, it can't be AI art. Now, I use uh, AI dungeons, right? Uh, you know, the one-page uh, dungeon program is amazing. I usually have a, a link up on my, on my tabs ready to use it, ready for inspiration. Um, it does a great job getting that uh, Matt Jackson Dyson logos look and feel. 
<clears throat> and hit refresh maybe a half dozen times, you'll probably find something that you can use uh, for a quick inspiration for a dungeon. That would be uh, verboten, forbidden under uh, these guidelines. Our customers expect a human touch to our releases, and as long as the ethical and legal circumstances surrounding these programs remain murky and undefined, we are unwilling to associate our brands with the technology in any way. <clears throat> Legally, I have heard that you cannot copyright AI art, but there's that fine line of, well, the AI generated the image, and then I come in and I'm not, I, but it wouldn't be me. I don't have the skills. <laughs> but the uh, artist comes in and then touches things up, removes that sixth finger, uh, fixes the crooked eyes, and, and makes things look uh, appropriate. Then what are we looking at? Is it AI generated? Is it artist finished? There's, there's, where's that line? Uh, I guess we'll have to find out as, as time goes on. And I guess every company, every publisher is going to have to define that. Stated plainly, when you buy a Paizo product, you can be sure that it is the work of human professionals who have spent years honing their craft to produce the best work we can. Paizo will not use AI-generated creative work of any kind for the foreseeable future. All right, any kind. So I guess you can't even use it for inspiration. Interesting. We thank the human artists and writers who have been so integral to our success in the past, and we look forward to working with them for many years to come. So, folks, that's pretty big. That's pretty uh, spot on. And I wonder what we're going to see from companies like Wizards of the Coast, right? Or smaller companies. I'm pretty sure, I don't think Frogon has a policy, but I'm pretty sure it would be very similar to the policy that we just saw here. But, you know, Goodman Games, um, Troll Lord, and other publishers, uh, are they going to take that stand? You know? And what if you're using stock art? What if you don't know that the stock art is AI generated? Then now you really have an issue. All right? Buyer beware. Folks, on that note, tonight, this is a Saturday, so tonight at 8 p.m., there will be a live stream. Myself, my wife, Rach, we do Gamers Health. Uh, we are going to be doing a recap of Tobacon. We will touch on a few things, like uh, I'm wearing a heart monitor. Look at that little thing. It's like cybernetics. Um, uh, testing and all that other stuff. We're going to give you some good updates, good, uh, good insights. Listen for your feedback. Listen to your input. Address your concerns. Uh, gamers Health. If, if this is where you get to see Tenkar, Gamers Health is where you get to do, visit with Eric. So I love the uh, turnout of the community. It's 8 p.m. pretty much every Saturday night, unless we're away to con, in which case eh, might not be happening. All right, folks, on that note, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. I will be back, as I said, tonight, 8 p.m. with my wife, Rach. Please visit with us. We enjoy your company. God bless. Later.